Greetings everyone and welcome back to Starship Theory. Oh, that was a bit weird. But there we go. Right, in this episode we have got many, many things to do. There is also a new version out which has changed a few things. Uh, some of them for the better even, which is always nice. Uh, we really do need someone taking care of the uh, state of this ship though. I do not feel that having such a messy ship is good for morale. Now, ideally by the end of this episode, I would very much like to have uh, access to a planting box. We've got a star detected ahead. Okay, that's not terribly bad yet. Uh, could become terribly bad though. Okay, uh, let's hope that doesn't get worse. Uh, we are also going to need tasks down here so we can see things. And finally, the components. Now... The focus on this one is trying to get enough resources to start building out the rest of the ship. And as I mentioned in the previous episode, we were going to try and get a research station. But I honestly think a navigation console is probably going to be better for us ultimately, since that will allow us to predictably get to asteroid fields and get the initial resources that we need. Now, back to the patch. The developer has already addressed a lot of the concerns that I had in the previous episode regarding to the difficulty. So slightly more resources at the start i haven't yet started a new game so i don't know exactly how many extra resources exist uh can we buy anything good here no we cannot i'm not gonna threaten you you know it, it's hard enough for us as well so uh you know i hope hopefully you do well um but the resources are generally uh, a little bit more forgiving at the beginning uh also the initial asteroid fields don't overlap and the asteroid fields in the beginning are going to have less giant asteroids in them so it's going to be a little bit less dangerous and, and luck based whether you make it through the first asteroid field or not but the big 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 thing that has been added first and foremost lasers mining lasers mine slower so heat builds up slower so you don't strictly need as many mining uh, sorry heat vents as as we needed to be able to mine effectively or, or realistically in some cases but also ice asteroids now spawn again apparently there was a bug that prevented them from spawning so it was just horrific luck that we had there are meant to be some more ice asteroids around there and now they will be so hooray for not having to die of thirst uh, for having had to sell one of our crew members already quite a lot of people in the comments are like, oh don't like thinking about it selling maybe you just sold their contract they've just gone off to it yeah yeah of course that's, that's more or less what i was thinking i wasn't thinking that we were selling to slavery because that would, that would just be a horrible place to be where maybe sometimes you can end up with like people from ships when you blow them up and then you just have slave pens and you stick them in there to use as as trade fodder that is totally not something that i would condone doing thankfully Dark Alec on the other hand, yeah. we'll see how that one goes. But we've made a little space, and so the first thing we're going to want is a navigation console. If we can get that up and running, it's going to be good times. So let's hope we can get it up and running. It's going to require 10 metal, 10 um, silicon, and 5 gold. We've got all of that there. It will require that when we want to turn her on, we're going to have to shut down the mine, uh, the main laser. But that should be fine. In fact, let's uh, speed up a wee bit. One of the things I would really very much like to do is get an engine back again. Because we can't do any um, jumps without an engine. And I'm very concerned about not having an, that ability. That is, that is our get out of jail free card that we can only use infrequently it takes a long time to charge up but it is pretty much uh oh no we're, we're in a fight we can't possibly hope to win let's just leave button and currently whilst the, the apparently our jump drives are charged up we don't have drives to jump with so yeah you know what it's it's not great hooray water it wasn't just a hoax water really does exist in space hurrah our prayers are answered oh my god Let's uh, try and break that before it breaks us, shall we? Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Uh, let's see if I can actually get through that. Oh, yeah, we did. Marvelous. But don't, don't hit me, please. No. Ouch. Why have you got to be so mean? I thought we were going to have bajillions of giant asteroids anymore. Maybe that was only for like the really starter asteroid fields. Oh well. At the very least, we got a little bit of uh, 
metal. So we are, in fact, building our navigation console. So we'll be able to go to another asteroid field straight after this one, if we so choose. And we will so choose. We will always so choose initially because we desperately, desperately need materials. Ooh, that was good. Um, yeah, and a bit more water as well. We'll be able to grow all of the plants soon. It's going to be grand. Right, okay, so you need to... Well, actually, we're in an asteroid field. I don't need to worry about going to a different one. That would just be greedy, frankly. Uh, I could try and uh, break this down. Well, uh, it's okay. That one's already been broken up now. Anything there I particularly want? No, not really. Ah! Stop. Stop firing. We don't need to fire on those asteroids yet. All right, what are we going to get there? Probably not too much. Only, only three extra metal. We need a lot more. Unfortunately for us, a lot, lot more. Still, it is progress, and uh, all progress is good progress, in my opinion. Right, we want to go to an asteroid field. Setting course to a new asteroid field. Fantastic. Uh, there we go, asteroid field detected ahead. Um, okay, so we need some engines. Like, we really, really need some engines. And so I'm thinking we could have just two little engines on the side. It doesn't make this for the most safe way out of the ship, but it'll, it'll do. It'll do for now. Let's try and get these little hull sections built up. A couple of people in the comments wanted me to go for more of an asymmetric building. Sure. I see no reason not to. But now we are heading towards an asteroid field. We can go ahead and turn that off. And I'm pretty much going to be focusing on... Uh, star detector ahead. Oh, that's terrible. Why? I don't want to start to be ahead. That's going to make mining a real pain in the bum. Ah, uh, Skywags. Oh, well. We've got the navigation console, so we can always jump to, uh, or rather, guide ourselves to another asteroid field in the near future, if needed. Uh, for now, I'll just focus this laser. Ooh, yeah, you're kind of scary. So, I'm going to have to just try and hope that we can break these down. Okay, that's good enough. Thank you. There we go. Heat is not a terrible problem at the moment, thanks to our three heat sinks. But ship is now on an intercept course. Okay. Uh, could be terrible for us. It could be good. Depends on what they have to trade, if they have anything to trade. Uh, no, they don't. Well, that is just rubbish. Absolutely 100% rubbish. Ah, oh, really? Really? Okay. Now, with only one weapon, it becomes incredibly important to know the, the hit points on parts of your ship. They have got armor on their ship, which just doesn't bode well for us, because we have to break through the armor before we can break through this structure. So, breaking their hull, not an option. They've also got one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly seven, I can't quite tell, but I think it's just six crew members. But the big thing is, their CPU, the weakest component that you can have on the outside, is internal. The internal CPU array is really tanky. 40 structure points. Our gun does one point of damage. If we have a look at the laser, it does one shield. Uh, the little blue one, I'm assuming, is shield. The pink one is hull, because uh, currently our hull is pink. And the other is structure... Oh, no, crew damage. Okay. So... Our gun, every three seconds, does one point of damage. That has 40 points of damage. By comparison, ours has two. They're really weak. Really weak. Two hits. Basically, one volley from both of those guns will break one of our CPU panels, and that's it. We do not have nearly close enough the amount of money we would need to repair those. And if they knock those off, which the advanced AI is very likely to try and do, that shuts down pretty much everything. Half of our processing power is gone. So I'm just going to straight up bribe them. Yep. Leave, please. Just don't come back. You did no, no, you scoundrel. You had to get the last word in, didn't you? Oh, my lord. Just like me. Ah, uh, well. It, that hurt me to do. That really hurt me to do. But, on the plus side, we're not dead. So, I consider that a win, ultimately. A really, really quite, quite awesome win. Um, sure, let's try and break this up. Oh, no, actually, we've got something else we need to break, and that is the giant looming asteroid right in front of us. Uh, but, if only we had that engine, it would have been okay. 
Can I get this built in somewhere? I can build it in there and I can build it in here. Uh, let me take the hull out a little bit more. In fact, let me take both of these out. <laughs> it's going to look weird, all right? But it'll be fun, in my mind. Uh, right, let's try and uh, break through this if we can. Oh, right, we want to turn that off for definite and try not to break my ship. Oh, thank goodness. Ah, uh, man, that annoys me that I have to waste my time preventing that from breaking my ship instead of mining it. But, oh well, I guess not having a broken ship is quite important. Please break this fast enough. Ooh, it's getting down to the wire. Ooh, water. I like water. We've got 29 waters at the moment. This is not too bad. Uh, let's see what we can get here. We've got a little bit more metal as well. Okay, not terra bad, but uh, yeah, not terra good either. Uh, okay, let's turn that. Actually, terra good doesn't make nearly as much sense. Uh, right, okay. Uh, can I... No, oh, no, it seems that that's jammed. It's still got the uh, tracing beam, even though I've been hitting the button to stop firing it. Um, so maybe that's just something you can't do now. Oh, we're too close to the current field. Okay, well, that's fine then. We'll give it five seconds and then try again. Asteroid field? No, still too close to the current field. Really? How about now? <sighs> Start attack to the head, which isn't great, but I just realized something about the jump drive. We don't need to build engines currently. The jump drive will work if you have evade, oh, well, actually greater than zero. So, yeah, we will need one engine at the very least. Um, we've brought it up to zero. So, yeah, okay, we, we are going to need one engine, but we're not going to need two as long as we've got someone working that console, which is, you know, good, I think. But we are going to really desperately need a lot more uh, metal. We need a research department, and we also need a lot of other things as well, actually. Uh, right, so... I'm thinking we're going to want to expand out down here at the very least. Um, maybe pull a couple of things in. Maybe, actually, you know what? Let's not do that one there. Instead, let's do something like this. There we go. We can have the research bench there behind the uh, navigation console. And that should give us plenty of room around here. And we'll just go for a square hull section there as well. That should do. That is going to allow us to... Right, we can turn this off right now, actually. That should allow us to get all of the research done that we're going to need to do. And we do actually need to do it. And hopefully get enough space for some food. Because we are running out of noms quite rapidly very dangerously low on norms at this point if we can find a friendly trader who's willing to actually just trade and one just shows up fantastic uh, i have nothing that i can sell except water actually and i can sell a lot of that so oh, we could buy a cream member no no we really can't Drat. hmm uh well sure i am still gonna sell the water though um, that does free up a lot of room, but just not much we can do with that room. Ah, oh, please, all the metal for me. Uh, let's see. We're going to need quite a whopping amount of metal, actually, to finish the renovations here. We'll see what we can get. Alright, we'll start burrowing into this. I don't know if the longer that... If, like, when you take your laser off something, you lose the progress you made on cracking it the first time, but... Hopefully not. We need to replenish our water supplies now that we just sold a bunch. Shouldn't be too hard. Thankfully, we're not getting a huge amount of uh, rocks aiming towards systems that are important. Or that can actually break. The hull will just get damaged a little bit. But someone can just go out and repair that. That's not the, the end of the world. But if it hits a system, it can just flat out break the system. Okay, that's bad. Need you to start working on that for me. Please and thank you. There we go. We've got a re- Oh dear, that's potentially game-breakingly bad. Ooh, that's actually not so bad. A little bit of more. Come on. Ah, there we are. Can I get the last little bit? No. Being massively blocked by asteroids. Not the best of times. 
But more water. Hooray! Okay, not too bad. Not amazing again, but uh, we're only shy by a tiny little bit being able to build the research console. Well, worst things have happened, I suppose. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to sh shut down a lot of things in order to move this across. So let's get to work on that because I'm going to need the power systems moved down. And also this um, storage crate moved elsewhere. So if we move the cargo hatch perhaps over there, in fact, and then just move these around a little bit, we should be okay. We can move the heat vent down there as well. Uh, so many things to do. Okay, a small, tiny little ship has shown up. Unfortunately, a bit of a mishap in the order in which I removed items uh, and, and had things set to build means that we are shy one heat vent, but we should be able to get everything uh, up and running. I could probably take them on because they've got one tiny little CPU panel right there that I could just shoot. And once that's gone, they've also got no way out, so then I could just burrow through the wall. Mm. Honestly, this is probably the best chance of us finding out anything about the way that uh, death rewards work. So, okay, we're just going to open fire and uh, break through their ship. Hopefully right through their ship. And uh, it will result in death. And then we'll find out what the uh, death goods are. Please don't break any of my things. I know I'm being a scallywag. I probably deserve it. Please don't break them anyway. Um, Star Detector the Head. Oh, that was terrible for us. Uh, loads of things has got whacked there. Okay, that needs to go offline for a little bit whilst we uh, hopefully don't die. And get punished for our being scallywags. Honestly, this would be quite fitting if we... Uh, ooh, wow. Actually, we were just rewarded for it. Uh, right, okay. Can you please put out the fire? Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, this is a really hot star. This is a stupendously hot star. Wow, this star is super hot. Wow, it's killing the people in that ship really fast. Please put out the fires super fast. Fires need to go. Ooh, so much good stuff. But there's no way we can afford to do it. We are being punished for our hubris. Hubris punishments are underway at the moment. No! <laughs> Well, that is what we get. That is what we get for being scallywags. But you know what? Had we not done that, we might not have seen what the death rewards were. So, okay. <laughs> that was really bad of us. But on the plus side, every ending is a new beginning in disguise. And we can also now start a new ship and see how many uh, resources we start with. <laughs> oh my lord, that went so badly. Wow, poop. I feel that we entirely deserved that. Entirely deserved it. Though, I can take a small amount of comfort knowing that that would have been our fate anyway. There was way too much heat, the fires were out of control, and we had no way to jump away from it all. So, yeah. There's not much that we could have done given that, but that just really, really shows the importance of not being too hot. Um, Right, either that or the fires inside were causing the heat to spike even more. <gasps> that could be it, you know. The massive fire that was inside could have been been uh, keeping itself going. How terrible. Right, we are going to go with a, a new ship name. And this ship name is going to be the Meta Sepia. Oh, okay, I'll retype that. We're going to be flying the Metasapia in honor of the Metasapia, which is now no longer the Metasapia, it is the Metasaline, but it shall be the Metasapia for this particular story. Uh, we've got Jacob, Jeffrey, Sheila, and Alexander. These names will all be up for grabs, obviously. And we're just going to be uh, jumping straight into it, though, actually, no, no, we're not. We need a crew with more engineers than that. Uh, well, it's not the best crew, but uh, I, I think we can live with it. Sure. Okay, so we've got Rene. Uh, Randy, Janet, and Alicia. Very well. Let's see how the uh, Metasapia does in place of the event and the horizon. Okay, so in terms of our starting resources, not too shabby, all things considered. 
So let's uh, get a new ship up and running. Uh, let's pop down a mining laser straight away. Uh, we're also going to want a small... Well, actually, we, we do, do need two heat vents, realistically, to keep this going. Um, we could decommission this. I would like to build a new one over there, though. And then just clean back all of this down here. Sure. Okay, let's uh, get on with this then, because there's a lot of things that we're going to need to do. And we're going to need to do them very quickly. So thankfully, we do have quite a few people who are capable here. Uh, let's get uh, Rene working on this as well. We're also ultimately going to need at least two small heat vents. Hopefully, we can get this done fast. Now, we... Mm, we are going to need these things built first before we try to pull this down. Because otherwise that is just going to overflow in our cargo and we'll just waste it. That would be the worst thing to do. There we go. Got a couple of things going up. If you could work on this, Janet. Please and thank you. Cheers. Let's get these going. Now this asteroid field won't be too far in the future. Let's uh, speed up time just a little bit. If you can go over there for me. There we are. We've got enough room now to be able to fit the engine in and get a, a new small engine built just out there. That should be fine. So we're going to be going with the, a similar design to uh, the, our previous ship. Not that that worked out so well for us. But uh, we'll see how this one does. Uh, get that down there. We're going to need, mm, in terms of CPU, probably quite a lot, actually. Uh, let's get the components over there, as well as notifications up top. Well, we can just pop them there, I suppose. Uh, in fact, we can just pop them there as well. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to be installing this. This can come back online as soon as we've got the solar panel in place. And we'll have a CPU panel. Well, we can pop it, but there it shouldn't be a, a... Well, actually, I like the idea of having... Uh, a future laser there. But uh, no, actually, that's fine because we could always build something out at the front to take care of that. All right, so if we can get these all built quickly, let's power that up. There we go. Perfect. We've got everything running for us. All right, let's try and mine our way through a couple of asteroids and get a good, nice, uh, smooth start. We are going to want to get a navigation computer up and running fairly quickly as well, simply because that will allow us to force us into more asteroid fields. Um, additionally, we're going to want a research station up reasonably soon. Uh, let's hope that we don't get hit by any really big nasty asteroids, but it looks like so far we're actually doing okay. Now, have we got enough to finish that? Good. All right, so our uh, jump drive will actually work. Fantastic. We're in a fairly good position then. Still, Lady Luck could frown on us, and we could just lose a bunch of systems to a rogue piece of space dust. Thankfully, that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, we were overheating a little bit there, but it uh, shouldn't be anything that we can't handle. Uh, that could be, though. That could definitely be something we can't handle. Uh, ship detected on long-range scanners. Okay, that's uh, not terribly bad. Uh, what I would like, actually, at this point is to move that CPU panel down here and then that um, that solar panel down there. Uh, yeah, I think that would actually be the best thing for us. So let's uh, pop that down there. We'll probably move a couple of things around. Please don't hit anything. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, right. Definitely needs to mine through you if I can. Got no weapon to speak of, so there's nothing we can do against any enemies but bribe them or just, you know, ask them nicely to stop being such uh, such jerks to defenseless, defenseless uh, escapees. Because, you know, this ultimately is an escape pod. Oh, it looks like they were also on an escape pod. Uh, right, we've got 350. We could buy a bunch of metal. That is actually a pretty good start. Uh, we cannot now afford the silicon, which is a shame. Uh, we can sell some water. New. Uh, no, that's fine. I'm, I'm good with that, actually. Right, okay, let's uh, get a couple of things moved around. So, no, 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 no. Solar panel down there. 
and CPU panel down there. We can pop that one right at the bottom if we want. And we can just move these two. Uh, so let's get that moved first, and then that moved second. There we go. Let's get all of that done, and then we can turn everything back on. There we go. Oops. CPU. There we are. Everything turned back on. It is marvellous. Right. Okay. So with that done, we can make a little walkway heading over. I'm probably going to put down the food drink in there and that little alcove and over here we can probably just have the navigation console and the research console just straight up if we want to uh, or we can have the consoles down here and this could be water and food in there uh, either way really would work how much have we got we've not got nearly enough silicon for any of this though and that is a great shame we've got enough to build the hull and that is it so, is this going to come down to luck, whether we find a new place where we can do a little bit of mining or not? But, we're off to a much better start than last time, and that is the thing that we need to take from this. Every failure just means that you can start again, taking the, the knowledge that you gained from the last run with you. And that's that's the way I play Dwarf Fortress, for example. I, there's no such, losing is never an unfun experience, because it means you get the fun of starting again. Uh, at least that's what I tell myself to stop myself from crying in the night. Uh, they're leaving. Goodbye. Wise move. We're hitting a star. But this is not an evil star. It is a star that we can easily manage. Good times are these. That fire is not actually contributing too much heat. So uh, I do wonder if that is actually a fire that is, is contributing any heat. Hmm. Worth looking into that one, actually. Can we put those out and also repair the hull, ideally? Now, hopefully we're going to find another asteroid field fairly quickly. There we go. Marvellous. It's as if you heard me. Or that you were pre-programmed to make sure that we have plenty of asteroid fields early on. Right. Well, let's get... Um, I'm going to say we are going to want the... Well, we could easily put water in there. I mean, water seems like the, the most obvious and important of the things that we'd want to get. But um, it depends. It does depend quite a lot on, on whether we get that set up in there. But for the time being, I do really like the way that that is no longer... Um, that no longer has a wall on that side, that it understands that it's it's external and it's only attached on one side. That actually looks a lot better than, than previous uh, engines as a result. Okay. Yes, I know. You'll be able to access them soon, I promise. Let's see what we can get over here. We've got a little bit of metal, which is good. And here, a little bit more metal, also good. Yes, I know, I know. It's when they can't access food or water that they get really grumpy. Uh, please don't break anything. Both of the things there are really important to me. Oh, you scoundrel, why did you have to go for the really, really weak one? You massive, massive jerk. Well, that is unfortunate in the extreme because they are expensive to fix. But we do need one, so there's not a lot I can do about it. We are now down to one mining laser, thankfully. Uh, come on, quickly, we got to try and get through that while we can. Oh dear, badness up ahead. So, again, we're back to this whole thing of it being completely luck-based whether we get through this. Oh, yes, please. Now, need. I don't care. Just let me get it. Whoa. Had to push the system as hard as I could just then. Oh, please, not again. Not again, you scallywag. No way. <laughs> the game hates me. Uh, okay. <laughs> How marvelous. Uh, right, okay. Um... <laughs> I could threaten you, but you would you would literally just put me over your knee and spank some sense into me. So no. No, no threats from me. But that has massively crippled this run. We are in a super bad way now. Super bad way. Oh, so many wasted resources. Uh, and another giant asteroid as well. Okay, well, there's not a lot I can do here, but just pray. Ouch. Um, 
The problem is, yeah, we, we can't even dissipate the heat from this star now. So this is just going to climb up. Ooh, what a horrible, horrible situation to find ourselves in. Oh, the uh, Metasapien isn't doing particularly well. Perhaps I should have gone with Metasaline in the end. Uh, okay, so the fire is getting worse based on the temperature difference. Why? How can you sleep in the middle of a massive raging inferno like this? That's just crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Please put out the huge fires before it melts the ship. All the people in the ship, that would also be bad. There we go. Fire is under control. Excellent work, everyone. We still don't have anything for people to drink, so uh, they're probably going to be getting very unhappy really soon. So, you know, again, it's just down to a little bit of luck. Although, you know what, I think this is the, a good place for the difficulty to be. It's not entirely um, free from the sort of the whims of fate, but it isn't a case where there's only one possible build that you can go to and you've got to be super, super accurate. And the first bit of bad luck is the end of the run. I mean, in this case, we had two bits of bad luck in succession on the same thing. That That's just going to happen now and then. That's the nature of luck. But we're not even necessarily out for the count. We're probably going to fail in this run as well. Yeah, poor, poor uh, crew member has died. I, I don't even remember your name. You didn't rename you yet. Goodbye, goodbye. You, you, that wasn't a very good funeral. Are you meant to, to wrap them in a flag or, or put them in some sort of really sleek, sort of curvy space coffin that gets shot like a torpedo so that it orbits around some some massive star and eventually, you know, some distant future civilization comes along to it. And then you think it's just a planet with rings around it until they get close enough and then they notice that the ring is actually made up of millions and millions of coffins. All of the same amazing person who rides crocodiles and saves princesses. I'm fairly certain that's what it's meant to be like. Uh, right, let's see if we can do a little bit of mining here and get ourselves out of this horrible, horrible uh, little uh, mess that we've got ourselves into. Um, I know, I know, and you're going to die without water. I'm going to I'm gonna try and get you something to drink so soon. But first, we need to try and mine a little bit. Because if we can't, then, yeah, it's bad times. Uh, oh, I really, really need that silicon. All right, go, 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 go. Now's our chance. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no. No. Someone else has gone down. Oh, this is terrible. This, this is awful. No sleek space coffins for you. No distant star that has rings made of coffins. No, no space memorials. Nope. Nope. This, this is, this is just tragedy. Is everyone gonna die? <laughs> They're, they're so stressed, they're not even throwing... That, I think, honestly, that's the best way to go. Just go, go, make yourself into a giant space coffin. Just, just blast off, puncture your oxygen tanks, and just, just burn off in the direction of, of some distant planetoid. It's, it's the only way, frankly. You've got a better chance doing that. Wow, they got messed up there. And then we got messed up again. I maintain, however, that this is a completely acceptable level of difficulty at this point. Maybe. We'll do a couple more runs, and if all of them end in failure, well, maybe some things should be tweaked. Or at least a difficulty setting being sold. But honestly, this feels fun for me. Because it, it, there's, there's tension because, yeah, luck could not be on your side. And you're going to end up losing something super vital, and then it's going to be run over, and you have to start again. Whereas previously it was anything bad happens and it's probably easier just to stop and start again. Uh, but that's going to be where we wrap this episode up for now. A bit of a bit of a downer, I'm afraid. We went through two ships this time. Man, what's going to happen next episode? Three ships? I hope not. That would be kind of funny. But nevertheless, I hope not. But that is going to be it. I do hope you enjoyed though and will be joining me for the next. But until then and as ever, take care everyone.